The Kennewick City Council approved a reopening resolution last night asking Governor Inslee to let local elected officials control their city's reopening on their own terms. But do they actually have the power to just reopen everything? Cap KVU's Ellie Nakamoto White is live in Kennewick with the story. Ellie. I spoke with two Benton County Commissioners today, one of whom actually helped draft the resolution, and he tells me that he wants to make sure that the community knows that this is actually, quote, for the people. This is for the voice of the people, and that's Democrats, Republicans, conservatives, everything. Benton County Commissioner for District 3, Will McKay, helping draft this resolution to Governor Inslee. What the resolution is basically saying is going to the governor and saying, Governor, please let the local jurisdiction control um, our county, you know, our local area, instead of having him control the whole state. McKay says this will actually benefit both our local businesses and Tri-City residents. We're a social you know, human being, like we, we, we like to socialize, right? Well, we're socializing at home, at places that are set up for COVID safety. So the safe places really should be the restaurants, the, the stores that are set up that way, not at home. Jerome Delvin, the Benton County chairman, says he agrees with the resolution. The school boards have that authority. They can open and close their schools as they want based on what they see. I think, you know, City councils and commissioners should be able to, you know, with, along with the health district, uh, make those determinations if they can safely open up. McKay says his main goal is to redistribute the power amongst the people. It should be your choice. It should be the owner's choices. It should be our choice as customers coming into that establishment, whether we feel safe or not. So it should be our choice to go do those things. The resolution passed in a 5-2 to two vote. The council also did call for the Washington State Legislature to make amends to a law that allows the legislature to approve any state of emergency that lasts longer than 30 days. Live in Kennewick, I'm Ellie Nakamoto-White for Cap KVU Local News.